In this moment where we're driving to the end of the Light and Darkness saga, it's great to see Cade like return to this world at this moment with all this change about to culminate with this confrontation with the, the long-standing enemy, the Witness. Cade is the quintessential hunter. His presence casts such a long shadow over the story of Destiny, whether it was when he was alive or when he was dead. What Cade goes through mm -hmm. in this journey, how he serves as a catalyst for the other characters, the events that are uncovered to have brought him back, this is how the story had to end. There was no end to the Light and Darkness saga that didn't have Cade here alongside his friends to finish the job. Once we started digging into the nature of the Pale Heart, I think that crystallized Cade's role as a guide. Cade is Virgil, and he's our guide through this other place. Cade is the one who is the most appropriate person to be the guide, because that's his job. That's always been his job. It just feels so natural for Nathan to be back in the booth. It felt amazing to just see him slip back into the role, like, without missing a beat. Right, instantly. In the flesh, or metal, as it were. Cade's the glue that's always held Zavala and Ikora up together. Having him back puts them in a position of questioning where they've been and what they've done without him. You think about the journey that Zavala's been on and how he's been taken down this dark path, and you think about the weight that's been on Ikora, having to hold the Vanguard together, having Cade's voice of levity and brightness that he brings uh, to that group, I think is gonna be great for them. Well, at least we have each other. We want people to take away that sense of reunion and that, that idea of like the, the gang being back mm -hmm. together for this moment. I'm here now, wherever the hell here is. <laughs>